Alright, going to refute this video by Bruce Mejia where he's defending the sin of interracial marriage. He uses the argument these new IFB cultists always use is that it was a religious thing. It wasn't really a racial issue. You know, Let's get into refuting this. This is going to be fun. God's. Now go to De you're in Deuteronomy chapter 7. Look at verse number 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them, and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Now, he's telling them, hey, when you run into these nations, you just need to wipe them all out. Now, is that because God's just a racist? It's because God just hates these other races. He just hates the color of their skin. No, it's because of their pagan worship. That's why. It's because they're committing abominations in the land, folks. Now, look at verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me. So he's saying, I don't want this white guy getting So it. the point of that is that God was saying that because when they interracially marry, one of the results is, is they get into pagan worship. So it is condemning the racial interracial marriage, and he's saying this, though, the result of that is pagan worship. You know? I mean, who can't see that? Married with this black girl and all these Asian people. And, no. Is it because of their skin color? It's because of, you know, one is yellow, one's black, and one's brown? Absolutely not. It has to do with the fact that the culture that they're involved in, the pagan religious culture that they're a part of, would cause the believer to stray away from God. That's what it was. So God was not against race. He was against the pagan culture of that race. Okay? Verse, four, or verse 5 says, But thus shall ye deal with them, I'm sorry, verse 4, for they will... T and, you know, he just uses all the same arguments, but uh, it's just funny because there's so many verses that condemn interracial marriage. I mean, I guess the book of Ezra and the book of Nehemiah just don't exist. But the whole satanic agenda of interracial marriage is it's going to be used by the Antichrist to bring in the one world government. And I'm going to show you some scriptures that prove that interracial marriage is sin. Ezra chapter 9, verses 1 to 2. Now when these things were done, the princes came unto me, saying, The people of Israel and the and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Prizites, the Jezebites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed, holy seed, it's a racial thing, have mingled themselves with the people of those lands, yea, the land of the princes and rulers hath, the chief, hath been chief in this trespass. It is a racial thing, the holy seed. Okay? Another verse, Ezra chapter 10. Now there. It says in verse 1, And now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and cast himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shekinah, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, Shechaniah, sorry, she Shechaniah, sorry, I'm not the best at pronouncing some of these Hebrew names. The son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the Lamb. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Uh, verse 3, Now therefore let us make the covenant with our God to put away all the wives and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Uh, Nehemiah chapter 9 again it's, it's clearly a racial thing put away their strange wives Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 1 now in twenty in the twenty and fourth day of this month the children of Israel were assembled with, the, with fasting and with sackcloth and earth upon them and the seed of, Is, seed of Israel the seed of Israel it was a kindred thing separated themselves from all the strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers that simple it was a race issue. Nehemiah chapter 13, 13 verse 1. And on that day they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people, and therein was found written that an Ammonite and a Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever. Where does it mention in paganism? 
It just says an Ammonite and a Moabite should not come into the congregation of God. It was racial separatism. They wanted the races to be, the kindreds to be separate. Because they met not with the children of Israel, sorry, with bread and with water, but how they bailed him against them, that he should curse them. Howbeit our God turned the curse into a blessing. And now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. I mean, it's clearly a kindred issue. He wanted them to separate. He wanted the holy seed not to mingle with the other kindreds. Separate themselves from the mixed multitude. And the reason why it comes so hard against interracial marriage is because it's going to be used by the Antichrist to bring in the one world government. Because how is the Antichrist going to bring in the one world government if all the kindreds are separate? Okay? He has to get all the kindreds to mingle with each other. That's why God condemned interracial marriage so much. Because he wants separation. That's, it's just that simple. Antichrist, the Antichrist, Satan, wants the people to all mix together and just come together and just, oh, you know, we're all, we're all one. You know? Um, and then, of course, they'll quote Acts chapter 17, verse 26, and they'll quote part of the verse, but they won't read the whole verse. Acts chapter... Uh, Acts chapter... Oops. Sorry. Acts chapter... 17 verse 26 and it says and hath made of one blood all nations for men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation it's separatism okay so don't be deceived by this whole pro interracial heretical garbage it is satanic okay and don't be deceived by the new IFB cult God bless you goodbye Thank you.